Louis. The steady rain like what we see south is done in St. Louis. Not quite done for some of our friends down in Reynolds and Iron Counties. And it's slowly finishing up around uh, Farmington and St. Francis County. If you're out around Sparta, you might still have some sprinkles. But again, it's kind of pushing to the southeast. We still may get a brief shower here in St. Louis. You see one just to the northeast of Troy, a couple to the northwest. And the reason they're popping up, that's where the cold front is. And that front's going to pass through, knocking our temperatures down a little bit this evening. You'll start to notice temperatures fall pretty quickly this evening. But we really get the blast of cold air by tomorrow. In the meantime, there's still some snow right there. It's melting away, but this is from Barnjur Excitement in South County. That's 55 near Butler Hill Road. But most of the snow has melted away because of this 48 degrees. Temperatures are above normal as expected today too. But we get into that really cold air as we head into tomorrow. So 17 in the morning. What a flip. Temperatures are going to be much, much colder. Wind chill at about 4. And the winds will be a little breezy. They'll be gusty this evening, but even tomorrow morning, a little breezy at about 15 miles an hour. So that breeze matters, especially in the morning. I think the winds will lighten up later in the day. But look at the temperatures aren't warming a whole lot. 19 at 9 a.m. By noon, we're at 23, and that wind chill is at about 10 degrees at noon. By 3 o'clock, that's our high, 27. And we'll go from some clouds in the morning to mostly sunny for our day. Mostly clear at 6 o'clock with light winds, but chilly. Bundle up and puffy coat weather alert for tomorrow, 18 degrees by 6 o'clock. Now, Sunday, we do have to keep an eye on this clipper system, but we told you that the best chance for snow is kind of just north northeast of that low. And because the track of that low comes right into about St. Louis, this is where the best chance for some light snow is. There's not much moisture to work with, but I think a dusting to a half an inch is possible northeast of St. Louis. And we may see some flakes flying, some flurries. The timing would be Sunday morning. Here we are at 9 a.m. By the time this low slides southeast, it takes any snow out in the afternoon. We are dry, even those areas to the northeast that maybe get a little dusting. You'll be dry by Sunday afternoon. So if you think about Super Bowl parties, I think you'll be fine on those roads by the afternoon and evening. But boy, what a turn in our weather. Much, much colder. 27 for tomorrow, turning sunny in the afternoon, and then a cold one Sunday. We'll watch for the flurries, maybe some light snow to the east, otherwise a high of 32. By the way, I'm going to compare our cold Super Bowl Sunday temperature of 30 to the much different weather they're going to get in Los Angeles where the Super Bowl is being played coming up on News 4 at 5 o'clock. I have the details on that. Here's the other thing I'm tracking. A storm track next week. Now, this is Wednesday. That's where the storm is. The track comes right into St. Louis where we would be in the rain zone. But look at the stormy zone to the south and the wintry zone to the north. Man, this can shift, so you really want to pay attention to this impacting us by Thursday of next week, really Wednesday night through Thursday night. Right now, it looks like we're mainly in the rain zone there. Temperatures are warming up as we get into next week, though, after this cold weekend. 50s by Tuesday, 61 on Wednesday, and then we get into that big storm system we want to keep a close eye on for Thursday.